Yeah, that's a look at the beauty of where we are. And it comes in great variety as well, which we'll get into in just a second. Josh Richter is the Senior VP of Golf Operations for the Boyne Resorts, joining me on this morning. Good to see you, Josh. Thank you to you and your staff for the reception we had last night with everybody. It was really fun. You're very welcome. It's so great to have you back and have uh, your fans back. And yeah, we're excited for the week. We are too. We're very excited for the week, especially because the weather is absolutely stunningly beautiful. Yes. In the week that we're here, mid 80s and yeah, it's and, uh, been a, been a great fall so far, and we're looking forward to continuing well, we're, it. We're telling the world that that's the weather up here all the time, anyways, because you're in a microclimate you're, in northern you're Michigan. You're exactly right. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> what it was. So you've got a lot of stuff going on, and oftentimes, because obviously we're focusing right now on the golf courses, we'll talk about others in, in other activities here in a moment in the other seasons for that matter. But one of the things that you guys recently announced was having the Epson tour in. When you have uh, the, the stages and the stepping stones for the best players in the world, what do you hope that that sends out to the world in terms of a message of who you guys are and what you're doing? Yeah, I think it, it gives us the opportunity at, at much more broad scope to show the championship golf that we have here. And, uh, you know, we'll talk about it a little bit more later, but it, it, it just gives us a stage to, again, show that and, and, and what we have here at Bowling Golf. And uh, we're excited to host it at the Highlands uh, next June. Yeah, it's pretty cool because when you start to do that, folks, with, with an Epson tour, before too long, you start to realize, wow, uh, we've had, you know, this you're talking about, say, five years down the road or even less than that. You've got major champions and huge stars of the game that kind of cut their teeth right here on these golf courses. I wanted to ask you, too, about the, the new... A uh, Dune Bray short game, of course. Uh, what is it? Where is it? And is it open yet? So it's at the Highlands. Uh, it's it's called Dune Bray. It's on our actually ski hill, and Dune Bray, you know, downhill, uh, you know, in, in a short way of saying it. But the uh, the fun part about it and the unique thing about it, other than being on the ski hill, is it's inspired by uh, holes that Ray Hearn really liked throughout the world. So oh. it's the, the inspirations behind it. I think make it really unique and the way that Ray was able to design it across the ski slope. And, and so you didn't feel like you necessarily had to climb, but you kind of work your way up and across it. And it's it's just very, very unique. And uh, we're excited to have the opportunity to show it off. We have done uh, a couple preview days uh, throughout this month um, in anticipation of the grand opening in summer of 25. Oh, very cool. So it's obviously seated and grown in and, and looking beautiful. It looks really great. It's, awesome. uh, it's uh, you know, it's, as grow wins go, you know, you anticipate as best you can. And uh, so we, we found ourselves with this opportunity to do some previews for some of our uh, membership at, at the Highlands, as well as uh, a few guests. And uh, the feedback, like I said, has been outstanding so far. Oh, that's beautiful. That We're excited about that as well. And as we're talking to you, you can see the video that Andrew's been running uh, across the spectrum of the golf courses, which are amazing here. And the variety is amazing here, Josh. And I want to ask you about that in just a second. You've got 10 golf courses they're, they're, it, and it's it sounds so cliche to say the following, but there really are no two golf courses that you could describe as even similar or the same. Yes, that's that's the thing that's the most exciting. I think for us is is over the ten golf courses, and as Dune Break comes on board next year, we could we talk about eleven. So yeah, we've got to continue true, yeah. to, to change that. But uh, yes, there, there's a tremendous amount of variety. The thing we really pride ourselves on though is the consistency <laughs> as you play across and, and and you and your viewers throughout the week here. You know, you go from Crooked Tree to Bay Harbor to the Highlands and back to Boyne Mountain um, on the final day is you're, you're going to get very similar green speeds, similar heights of cut. The golf courses are going to play from an agronomy standpoint so similar. And yeah. I think it really just lends itself to a, an improved experience uh, because it's not like every go, of course, you have to adjust to a different green speed or this is different than this, but it's very consistent. Speeds are beautiful. The golf courses are beautiful. You can see from the video that we're showing you guys on the TV side that it is an incredible place. How has the season gone for you? How busy has it been? It's been really great. It's been really great. You know, part part of our, the way we you know operate our business, we want we want to find nice balance. We pride ourselves on pace of play mm -hmm. and in and, and golf course conditions as it is. So it's you know finding balance amongst the ten courses with with the amount of rounds we have. So it's been outstanding. We've been aided by. Pretty fantastic weather um, throughout August and September. Little rain in June, but uh, not not a big deal. And uh, you know, as as you'll see throughout the week again, the golf courses are just in superb condition. They are that. There's there's absolutely no doubt about that. So w when you're speaking to 
a, a large audience and they have choices in terms of where they want to invest their money and invest their time and get their buddies together and go on a trip or bring their families or or maybe it's a, a sales convention or a wedding or whatever it is and whatever the reason why is that people travel what message do we have as to why Boeing is the place that they should come to? You know, go again, goes back to the variety, but as, as we broaden that, you know, the, the food and beverage options, the, the towns and the, the places, what we are, it, it just, it gives you an experience overall. And, and we, uh, we're very grateful. We pinch ourselves, you know, living here as we do to, to having all these chances to experience so many different things and, you know, the golf courses is always going to be the backbone to it, but the hospitality, the friendliness of the teams, the service level, uh, you know, we're talk talking a little bit off camera here about, you know, retail and the apparel that you can come by and take home with you to, to remember that trip that you, you were just you on. you vary the, re the apparel and the retail based upon where you're purchasing it here. Correct. Yeah. So if you're just at, unique too. Exactly. So if you're at Boyne Mountain, you can get a Boyne Mountain logo. You know, we're wearing Boeing Golf today, but you can go to the Highlands, get Highlands or Bay Harbor Golf Club, which is tremendously popular. And, you know, the wide variety of different styles that suit the individuals. And yeah, it's it, it's just all part of this big 360 scope of uh, what Boeing Golf is. That's awesome. And then we're talking about the golf and what golf is. We should also talk about the winter activities here and what that's all about as well, because it is an important part of who you guys are. And, it, and in some ways, it's a light switch where this place goes from being the ultimate golf destination. And look at this video we're showing you. It, I mean, it's, it's like Pebble Beach in Michigan because you're, sitting, you're on these bluffs high above the Inland Sea. Then all of a sudden, it switches and it becomes this skiing and winter destination, which includes a nearly 100,000 square foot indoor water park on top of everything else so it's again go back to the cliche there's something for everybody yeah and we, you know we might as well add on it here as we're we're approaching the uh fall color season is, is skybridge michigan here, oh, yeah. on, here on top of boyne mountain and you know ride the chairlift up in in the summertime you walk across the sky bridge as we are in fall we see all the beautiful colors you get on the other side you know the little village for food and beverage offerings you look over and you can see the first tees of the two golf courses here at Boyne Mountain it's it's an and we use that term a lot you can do this and this and this and yeah. this and we feel like that's a, a really special thing that we have here uh, you got married in uh, Ardglass in Northern Ireland I, and I, I should have I should have sent Andrew some pictures of this with you guys teeing off of the first tee and hanging out in a clubhouse that's 800 plus years old. Pretty cool experience to have in your back pocket, huh? It was. It was tremendous experience. Appreciate you and and introducing me to Paul uh, over there. And uh, yeah, it was a, a special week uh, in Northern Ireland and uh, a really special day there uh, at our glass. Yeah, very cool that you that you guys actually celebrated. Uh, on that island. Uh, Paul is the, is the head professional at Ardglass, and he's just absolute, absolute gem. <laughs> thank you for everything, my friend. Yeah. It's always good to see you. Yes, it's thank you very much. It's good to catch up and, and to hear that things are continuing to go. I'm not surprised by it because this place is incredible, but that they're continuing to go very, very well.